Hello and welcome to this session. My name is Kezia Mirori and I'll take you through the EID VL integration feature in Kenya EMR. The prerequisite for this is that you need to configure some settings in the advanced settings section before you can use this feature effectively. So the first thing, ensure the configurations are done and also ensure that you have internet connectivity in the server. This is to allow the pushing and the pulling of the VR results from the lab. What this feature does is that it allows you to add all the active orders that have been made in the EMR and add them into the manifest which is again sent to the receiving lab. It allows you to remotely log in all the samples that you're sending. It allows you to receive the results back once they are processed and are ready and uh, automatically update these results to the individual client's profile. The goal of this uh, feature mainly is to reduce the manual data entry and this helps us to reduce the transcription errors that are encountered with the manual updating. It also helps improve the turnaround time since we do not need to wait until we download these results and manually update one by one in each client. We receive the results real time so long as we have internet connectivity and the configurations have been done well. So we get the results real time. This enables the clinicians to make timely interventions for their clients and this helps again in improving the quality of care that we are offering. I'll take you through how to create a lab manifest, how to send, and what we expect when you receive back the results. On the home page, we have an icon labeled lab manifest. You'll need to first create a lab manifest and by clicking add new manifest button. There is a, the start date and end date and this is mainly the dates when the samples from which the date were collected. If the dispatch is done daily, then we can have a single day, both as starters uh, and Add date, but depending maybe the dispatch happens every week, we can have maybe third May as the start date, and then end of week when these samples will be dispatched, or when the last sample is collected as seventh May. Then the dispatch date will be the exact date when these samples are being dispatched. You will indicate the courier name. In most cases, I've seen the staffs carrying out this task, and then you indicate the person the samples were handed to. Then under the address, we are capturing the county and this is the facility county county where this facility is the sub county the facility email the facility phone contact and then we have the clinician name the clinician ordering these are samples and the phone contact again for the clinician and also the lab person phone number we need all these details entered in the lab manifest and then under manifest status we will first have this status as draft why it's because we will keep on adding the orders as they come in until when we get the last one to uh, the last sample to be dispatched with this manifest. That is when we'll come back and change the status to submit. But so long as the orders are still being made and added to the manifest, then the status will remain as draft. Once you have updated the details, click on create lab manifest to save the form. And we now have our manifest already created. To edit this, there is the edit button. You can come back and edit any details. If maybe the edit date or the dispatch date changes from what you had filled, then you can come and edit. If any of these details change within the time, you can also come and edit. And then you save your changes. To add manifests or to add samples to this manifest, you click on view. And then you will need to have at least active requests. We are adding orders from active requests and uh, from my to add samples to a manifest uh, you click on view and then I uh, under the active requests you'll find all the samples that have been ordered so we have about two clients in my instance and these are the clients or the samples that we need to add to the manifest so to do that click add to manifest and then you will be required to, to update the sample details add the sample type frozen plasma sample collection date we can say it was collected on 4th May and the, also the separation or certification date is the same then you save that. Could not add to the manifest the current regimen of this client so you need to ensure that your client has the regimen line updated before you can save your manifest or before you can add successively to your manifest. Click on add to manifest to add this sample in the manifest. The sample type is frozen plus 
last month, the sample collection date, 4th May, sample separation date, again 4th May, and uh, then save that sample has successfully been added to the manifest. And now it, it has transitioned from the active request to the samples in the manifest, and we have a total of one. You can add as many samples as possible, depending on the facility workload or depending on the duration of our dispatch. And then we have another active request, which we can still add, date the sample details, update the date when this sample was collected, where the centrifugation date, again, it's fifth, and uh, then save the same. You get the alert that the sample has been successfully updated in the manifest. So once this is ready, you can print the manifest if you need to have a, a copy of the samples that have been added to a manifest or the samples in the manifest. You can print this and here is now the form or the, the print version of the manifest showing all the details of the clients and the sample details. So if you need a hard copy, this can be printed. Again, if you need any to edit anything, again on the manifest, you can do it from the edit button at that section and then save changes. So once you have completed this, you have added all the samples that are to dispatched, then you need to, you need to change now the status or uh, maybe before we look at the changing the status if you make any mistake while raising this manifest there is an option to remove so if maybe you had added a person before the sample was collected and then the dispatch happens before that is done then you can remove that uh, sample completely from the manifest there is an option again for printing label so if this is a barcode and uh, if you are using the barcode reader then you can use this in place of the manifest going back to the updating or editing the manifest once you have completed adding all the samples then we need to change the status from draft to submit and then you save changes and assuming that you have the internet on then automatically this will submit and you'll see a status here change from submit to submitted when you get your results you'll see that status for each of the client sent or each of the sample that was dispatched this brings us to the end of this session thank you very much for this and many more you can access our online palladium resources via the link provided and you can call Palladium Service Desk using the toll-free number provided. Thank you.